And here we go for another No Such Thing as Games. Uh, yesterday, um, we were working on a level in Unity, and we're gonna finish that off today. Um, so after after I turned off the, the stream there yesterday, uh, yeah, I kept going, of course, because I was still at work, and that's my job. So, uh, for all the talking that I did, it took me forever to do the little bit that I did, uh, on, on the stream, and, and honestly, like, within about a half hour, 45 minutes, I filled in pretty much the rest. Um, it still needs some finessing and, you know, some actual dangers to fight, and some rewards here and there. But I'll take you on a quick tour of what I did. Uh, so, after I built up this little area, um, gave this guy his own little yard and whatnot, and, uh, you know, the little nation of flags, etc. Um, little town here, uh, if you go this way and come down here, bust through these buildings, all you find is a big giant monster who's, uh, huffing and puffing on this building over here. Um, so, I mean, you destroy this guy, you get some gold or elixir or something good there. Um, Maybe I'll put uh, another special reward in there for people who want to take that uh, take that route. This is kind of my favorite. This is like uh, I was calling this like my Parliament area. So this is the Canadian Parliament in uh, Maple Flag City. Um, so I got some flags there, a nice little fountain, these two little helper buildings. That uh, I don't know. One's probably the woodshed, and the other one is where the uh, Pope stays when he comes to visit. And then I got a bunch of little shadow minions hiding behind there, so anybody does walk into this room, they're going to get swarmed from behind there. And odds are, at the angle they'll be playing the game, they won't be able to see them. Um, maybe. Uh, so it'll be a nice little surprise. Or a terrible surprise. A nice surprise for me. So I guess uh, we'll go back to this is where we started, of course. And we got our little um, Space Invaders type of graphic with some statues in it. And then you can kind of start picking your, picking your directions. So, like I said, you go up this way, to do 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 and there's some gold and stuff up here. Nothing to kill you yet, but uh, that's what we'll do today. You go this way, go through this little town of Bethlehem, uh, come around here. Uh, these guys, uh, they like to sit in their front yard and just watch people get shot, because they're maniacs. And then this little quiet little town, um, where they just like to keep things quiet for now. Um, I'm sure they're going to invest in some sort of guns and weaponry soon. Most likely more shuriken shooters, and uh, I'll put some monsters in the trees. They have a nice little wooded area, so I was just in the middle of adding a bunch of trees here to make this just kind of a, a little secret forest uh, with a little pond in the middle, and then we come over here and they'll hide uh, some, some menial reward that will make it worth uh, going through all of this stuff. Not that, you know, destroying these things uh, won't get you a little bit of a uh, little reward for your for your efforts um let's put something good and since this room is like this is a pretty long haul that that somebody's gone through to get here so i'm gonna put uh i'm gonna put a gold mine in here just the one don't get don't get selfish over here and Also a gold storage, so it seems like, oh, these guys are picking up lots of gold. I want in on this, this place over here. So, that's a nice little reward. Mm, I could probably put some more in there. But you're also going to get your uh, level rewards for completing the level as well. So these are just little bonus. Little bonuses. Happy little bonuses. Now let's uh, finish woodsing this place out. I'm going to put some dead trees in there too, actually. Or leafless, winterized trees. Sparkles and trees bring you to your knees, and then you have to move them. And it's so cold you'll sneeze. Mm, cold doesn't make you sneeze. The cold, having a cold. Uh, there's really no need for me to fill every second of this with words, but. I take the challenge of filling every second of this with words very seriously, and I mean, nobody's nobody's thrown down that that challenge at all. No gauntlet has been has been dropped or slapped in my face or whoever challenges uh, get thrown around. Um, but 
I challenge myself to, I don't know, exist <laughs> as much as possible. Um, hey, here's a fun little rant to go on for a minute. This morning on the Facebook, I, uh, I open it up and there's like a big old picture of Darth Maul. Looks, looks good. Turns out it's a fan made like Darth Maul costume, makeup, whatever. I mean, not that that's the hardest costume in the world. Uh, I mean, it's makeup and a robe or whatever, like getting it super accurate. All right. That's going to take a minute, but for the most part, the, you know, it's not, not extensive makeup. I think, you know, you can kind of buy Darth Maul kits pretty much now, regardless, doesn't matter. Uh, Facebook is like, finally, uh, not Facebook, uh, might have been Stanley, I don't know, some kind of cool news site, uh, I don't believe any cool, it was any cool news, but they said, uh, finally, um, this great character gets the respect that he deserves, um, you know, because he's such a great character, and I'll admit, when the episode ones were coming out, I was like, this guy looks awesome. They're gonna, they're gonna have a hard time stopping him. I mean, pretty much that's it. This is the end of the whole franchise, right? They're going back to episode one and having this Darth Maul guy like kill everybody. Cause I mean, he looks pretty deadly. His his lightsaber's got like multiple parts, you know, multiple stabbing areas, burning areas, and uh, this is gonna be great. And then he showed up eventually in the movie, and you're like, all right, cool. He's uh, pretty quiet. Mm, doesn't really do much don't really care about him, seems more like kind of a, he should come out of the shadows and be like a, a dark ninja type of guy, not a, hey, hey you guys having a meeting? It's me, Darth Maul, I'm here for the meeting. How is everybody? Let's have a meeting. It's me, Darth Maul, except I'm going to sit here silently like a maniac. And yeah, that was part of the charm of, of Boba Fett and uh, uh, Ryan Gosling in, in Drive, was, you know, they didn't say anything. They were the strong silent type. You had to infer a lot. So we did. I mean, as a, as a society, as a culture, as a world, we all decided, this Darth Maul guy, he's got a lot of layers. He's, uh, he's like a donkey over here, he's got so many layers. And, um, where are my trees at? Um, oh, I need some milkshakes to bring these trees to the air. Uh, so, yeah, like, you know, ex the exact same thing we did with Boba Fett, like, that guy's the coolest. No, he's got an awesome costume that is, is pretty interesting, and... His, you know, accessories, his gear, would lead us to believe that he's he's led quite a storied life. You know, he's got some kind of uh, trophy braids, like a predator hanging on him. Uh, he is a bounty hunter. We assume he's gone after many bounties. The same reason we want uh, a young Han Solo movie is, ooh, what, what are all these adventures Han Solo has gone on? Um, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but Han Solo is a liar. He's an effing liar. He lies about everything, so most of his adventures are probably not very adventurous because they're made up and he's uh, just like Boba Fett, mostly a delivery man who occasionally gets boarded and as we've seen, like, they usually end up taking his stuff and then he goes to Jabba or whoever he's delivering the stuff to and says, ah, man, I did my best. I did a loop to loop uh, went to space drive or hyperspace, warp speed. I can't remember what Star Wars calls it. And, uh, yeah, anyway, lost the shipment. All right, cool. See you later. I'll owe you that money eventually. So it's mostly like, I feel like, the adventures of Han Solo's money borrowing career. And uh, again, it's probably going to be great and fun and hilarious. Uh, you know, just like how seeing young, young Anakin grow up and, and learn how to build C-3PO's was the highlight of, of our uh, generation, childhood, mm, 20s hood. I don't know, however old, old you were. See, now look at that. That's, a, that's an adventure and a half in there. Um, so again, yeah, like the same as as Boba Fett, like, hey Boba Fett, what did you do? Not much. Uh, some guy accidentally turned on my backpack and then I fell in a hole instead of being real good at using my backpack and flying away. And I mean, in the original ones, there wasn't like a Sarlacc that grabbed him right away. He fell into a hole, so he could've been like, Shh. hey guys, it's me, Boba Fett. Got this awesome armor, got all these skills, got like guns and uh, grappling hooks on my, uh, on my wrist, I think. I don't know, maybe I have some Wolverine Predator Claws in here. It seems like I got a bunch of gear. These helmets, uh, I don't know, the, the, the new, the Episode 7s, they would show us that they do have some targeting. They do have stuff in their helmets, so Boba Fett clearly has an antenna, so that helmet's got to do more than, uh, than just be there to hide his face so we don't know who he is. Who cares? 
Um, so anyway, yeah. Not that I care. I'm sure it's an awesome uh, Darth Maul movie. I do love those things when somebody takes kind of a background character and gives them their story. Um, it was the wording of the character finally gets the respect he deserves is what set me off on this little uh, diatribe of nonsense while I add trees to a land. Um, i got to put some kind of danger in here. Oh, you know what I love? I love it when Andrew hides snapdragons in the woods. So I'm going to do that too as a little ode to Andrew. That's plenty. Um, so yeah, like, and I mean, Boba Fett's have uh, had his share of things, his own books and, and whatnot. I'm sure he will have his own story as well. And even just that, like, hey, finally, a movie with Boba... F oh, he's a baby? Excellent. This is the greatest, greatest achievement ever in movie-making history. Seeing all of our favorite heroes do uh, some, some growing up, some whining and crying. Uh, I still have yet to get into the Gotham... Uh, it's just called Gotham, right? Not Gotham Knights, Gotham City, Gotham PD. Uh, again, I was super excited about that because I'm like, oh, cool, like the adventures of Montoya and her interactions with Batman. And then the, the show came out and it's like, oh, it's a little boy named Bruce Wayne and all of his villains as their villain selves except as teenagers. You know, how we all assumed that world played out, but... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a level builder now. Who am I to make these claims and attritions about other people's storytellings? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess the gist of all that is, where's, where's my fan-made film that I deserve uh, about me making levels or falling in holes? Huh? I've fallen in way more holes than Boba Fett. I've been cut in half way more times than Darth Maul. Um, but I guess, yeah, going back to the Darth Maul thing, like, the, the respect he deserves, he was in the movie for, like, what, 12 minutes, and he he spun his thing around, he did a flip needlessly, so needlessly. Hey, look at me, ho, oh, ha, 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 can your grandfather do this? He, ho, oh, ha, ha, an old man did that in The Simpsons once, and that was impressive because it was hilarious and an old man. This is Darth Maul, who were already like, hey, that's that guy, that park guy from, from X-Men, and he does flips. He's probably gonna do some flips, so... Okay, we expect it. There you go, you did your flips, good job. Uh, now what? Um, I'm gonna stand here, I'm gonna spin my stick, and then when the guys show up, I'm gonna hop, and then I'm gonna get chopped in half. Spoiler alert, uh, Darth Maul is virtually non-existent in the Star Wars universe, outside, you know, in the movies anyway, and, and the rest of it's all, hey, imagine, imagine if he hadn't have died. Imagine what he did on the way to Tatooine. Okay. I bet it would be an awesome story, and and it looks like it is, so I'll have to watch it later. It's probably fantastic. Uh, again, I'm not against its, its existence. I'm against the use of the phrase, <laughs> respect he deserves. Because, um, yeah, nonsense, I realized, like, I love Boba Fett. Like, I was just like, Boba Fett. Like, yeah, that's how you, that's how you get stuff done, man. Like, that's the, what, he, he knows, he knows what's up. Uh, why won't you let me... Uh, I filled everything up, so I gotta go over here. Um, Alright, and I lost my train of thought. Because Unity was like, no deal. Uh, that's not even where I was going to put those flowers. I was going to put them... Hmm... Yeah, you guys like some flowers, and you like flowers under the window so you can smell them wafting in in the morning. And of course, you know, everybody knows. Well, first, I'm going to make a little throwaway island for me, just, just for me to build stuff on and grab and move. Um... Because i got to make lots of barrels. So yeah, anyway, that's my Star Wars, uh, I don't know, anxiety, nonsense. Horsing around for the day. Now it's all about barrels. Why well, just made this room? Use it. Now, 
what I get out of placing barrels, I hope the players, the users... That's also funny because the whole mechanic of, of doing mobile games is getting, you know, people to play it and then it's like, I love this so much, I'd like to, you know, buy some of the extra stuff that you have. And then we're like, cool, I'll make you some more extra stuff that you can have. Um, and that's, you know, that's the drug dealer um, business plan is, hey, you like this? Awesome, I can get you more. I'm the guy who can get you more. Uh, and then you call the drug users, users. Or at least, you know, in the 80s or 90s, that's that's what they started being called. And I keep saying the word players, like, oh, these players, wow, come on, um, are going to be playing the game, and they'll love the game, and they'll be playing because it's a game and they're players. But because most of this stuff is like apps, and you're trying to get people more to use it, to exist in the world, to clash with other clans, to be a part of a, a league or a, a whatever, a group of... Adventure seekers, uh, warmongers, whatever it is, uh, you end up being. Um, you're you're using it, so yeah, it's like you're a user, and God, I'm gonna. It makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. Oh, I can't move it while the text is in the way. <sighs> Unity. I can move the whole island. <laughs> I don't need your nonsense. Um, so I don't know that's my thoughts on that like I said I challenge myself to fill all of the time with all of the words uh, the dog seems unaffected he's just sleeping on the floor and I can't remember all the places I added new stuff. They need barrels. Oh, Donkey Kong would love this place. He'd just run around throwing all of this at everybody. Plumbers, lawyers, doctors. Noted racists in society. Oh, looks like somebody's words with frenzing me. Perhaps I won. Or perhaps I lost. I've got one game where I'm doing very well, one game where I'm doing very poorly, one game where I'm like just nine ahead, so that's terrifying, and there's only like three letters left. And, uh, and yeah, one where I'm pretty much in between, and I have no idea if anything's gonna work out. Uh, put these barrels here, and then I'll also give you some protection as well. But protection's next. First, Barrels. Um, Alright, we probably... If we're telling a story here, which we are, we're always telling a story. <clears throat> and slouching. Um, if, uh, if you're building a gold mine, if you're doing some gold mining, doing any kind of work whatsoever, you're probably going to have some barrels of supplies nearby. So this is for the workers. Uh... I don't know, maybe it's some water, maybe it's just big big vats of booze, because they're also drunken miners. Um, yeah, let's give them plenty. There you go. And not much to this little room back here, but I think it's, again, I think it tells a story. You got two sets of barrels left. Uh, you'll get stacked up behind this house here and this house here. There, and it seems like now these people are like, what are they up to? They're they're busy, they're storing things, they're getting ready for more winter? Because winter isn't coming. Winter's here. Oh. Get rid of this. And now for some deadly things, so I can finish out this room and get back to making these at a normal uh, pace. can't find it. Oh, there it is. So, where did I say you were going to go? Oh yeah, that yard over there. There you go, this guy picked up a... Oh, for the love of... Room 
placement rules, Brent. I can I just do as much as I want when I want. All right, so there's one danger in that whole area. Um, we're gonna need lots more. Okay, so again, year of the shuriken shooter. So let's load some of those up. Let's start moving them around town. And oh god. Okay, fine, fine. Make myself another spawning island. some stuff and then again shuriken shooter and that should do finish these I think I mentioned this yesterday. I can't. Uh, I can't just go using my regular, you know, iTunes playlist while I make stuff. Got to find some music that nobody's gonna be like, "Hey, you can't put that on YouTube." And uh, I just went to YouTube and loaded up some dolphin sounds <laughs> and meditation music or a spa yoga ambient noise. Uh, so, so those gentle squeals in the background are. The playful, delightful uh, screams of, let's say, baby dolphins. Because everybody likes a baby dolphin. Uh, let's put one there. Make sure they're all ready. Oh no! I upgraded it too far. Alright, just doing level threes. little part of the village is afraid of monsters and just everything so they all put out uh, instead of mailboxes shuriken shooters to murder anybody who wants to come by one two three four I think that's that's a good number of things to contend with in there um, no. Oops. I'm gonna go this many. I'm gonna try to make this way, since it is the right way to go. The least appealing, right off the bat. So it does look like uh, a bunch of crazy people live here. I'm not going there. And then, same deal up here. I'm gonna grab my island of shooters. Oops. in the woods here. I won't stay. Nope. Just as an added little obstacle, I'll put some more some wall in there as well. Make it slightly more difficult. It's pretty easy to get through trees.
Oops. to add a no trespassing sign up to this uh, list of decor. Just uh, ambiguous signs in general I think would be pretty cool. I'm gonna put some of these in here. So it's like, is these stumps? What's going on here? Doesn't matter, deal with it. in this guy's yard here, so he seems like a bit of a crazy person as well. <laughs> um, these down. And yeah, it's getting real quiet, because I'm actually uh, really working now, really thinking about what I'm doing. <laughs> thinking about fencing off this house. Um, but yeah, other than adding some more things to destroy you, uh, that's pretty much what this level is all about. This room will, will be deleted, of course. Uh, everybody everybody gets a shuriken shooter in their yard or a, an ice totem. And then I'm gonna, you know, pollute the place with some, some dragons in any place where they look like they might feel comfortable uh, setting up shop. Darth Maul thoughts to rail on uh, while I slowly move these pieces of fence one by one. But in my own defense, oh come on, uh, I have watched videos of people playing Clash of Clans where they are legitimately just placing their wall pieces and fences and whatever and I'm watching them, or organizing their cards and card-based games. And not saying anything, just slowly clicking the buttons and then getting excited when something good happens. And then back into silence again. But also... These dolphin sounds and uh, whatever that slow piano organ tone is uh, makes me want to talk so slowly and maybe even go to sleep. This was a terrible choice for the background music. If you want to use this as a meditation, first open your Dragon Fighters. Dungeon Wars app on your phone or tablet device. Pick a name. Enjoy that name. Revel in that name. Let it soak over you. Envelop you. Ah, let this text to get in the way until you lose your mind. And then just keep playing Dragon Fighters. And tell your friends about Dragon Fighters. It's very relaxing to tell your friends play a game that you're playing. It's not annoying at all to anybody uh, if they get 65 Facebook messages from you day saying, hey, help me solve this murder. No. Let's solve the, let's solve the case of why, why do you keep posting your game stats to Facebook? Why do I keep going to Facebook? Is it even a thing anymore? Like, everybody's already moved over to something else because Facebook is just for 
moms and grandmas to share recipes and uh, spy on their kids' fake profiles that they've made so that their parents don't know that they're doing horrific things, taking pictures of it and posting them on Facebook and saying, hey, look at me. I'm uh, doing all that stuff I told my mom I would not do. Fence post next to that. And let's post in front of this. Oh, come on. Where is it? Ah, oh, stupid three dimensional universe. There we go. Upgrade. So yeah, there's a little cabin in the woods, and we all see where this is going. It's a nice full, uh, full world, and like I said, I'm just gonna add some more uh, monsters and things, so you can be surprised by those when when you do get to level 62. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's it for today. This has been a good. Uh, good length of an episode, didn't go for a crazy hour, and I actually did some of my real work during real work hours, not just playing games, which is still technically real work. Um, but thanks, and see you guys again tomorrow for No Such Thing As Games. Uh, check out the podcast, No Such Thing As Grown Ups. We got a video episode where we interviewed Don Pinsent, uh, animator, caricature artist, and of course go to uh, I don't know, Amazon, and buy my book, no, uh, Sometimes I Rhyme, by Curtis Carey. Buy it. Buy ten. Yes. Yeah, do that. Ten. For Darth Maul. For the, for the respect that Darth Maul deserves, buy a copy of my book, and I'll let him know. <laughs>